They say life takes its crazy turns and twists when you least expect it. I've spent 60 days on this blasted ship, constant rocking, separated from civilization. What can the detective do but seek routine forms of comfort? For me, my daily snack time calms the nerves. My latest investigation is one that strikes a little too close to home. My cookies went AWOL. like this, with no leads, there was one dame I could always turn to for a poke in the right direction. Stamper, I could have known it was you. What were you doing in Tidmid Square last night, mademoiselle? Are you accusing me of something already, detective? All I know there's a snack out there is with my name in it and I know you know who took it! You always were very forward, Charles. Are we going to dance all day, or are you going to help me find a missing cookie? I don't know where your cookie is, but Mr. O'Brien did have some crumbs on his face. You always did have to have your cake and eat it too, aren't you? It's O'Brien! He's not being on the helios Run! Another false lead. The taste of defeat had become more prominent on my buds than carb loaded garden lounge meals. People say dust yourself off and try again. But I guess that's just not the way the world works. Don't be so hot on yourself. We did the best we could. All I wanted was to ruin my appetite. Is that too much to ask? There's always more than one cookie in the sea. You can always have your cake and eat it too. Here's the dame, and now my trusty assistant, making cockeyed comments about eating cakes. Come on, Stamper, you're a detective. 
you can figure this out. Where did I go wrong? The Dame, to O'Brien, to Draper, and now what? I'm alone, I'm hungry, and I don't have my cake, and I can't eat it too. <gasps> to have your cake and eat it too, huh, Chuck? Slow down! You're eating all the bounty! You men will never learn! 